Hey Sagittarius, this is Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your weekly love reading. So we're going to find out what is going on with Sagittarius and their partner, whoever they're thinking of, connecting with, okay? It certainly could be um, a new person or an ex, past lover. We're going to find out. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a timeless love reading, but certainly it could play out on your life in the month of June or could have occurred in the recent past. Okay, take it how it resonates. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this doesn't resonate, please do check your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, okay? Because it will not resonate for every single Sagittarius out there because this is a general love reading, okay? I do several general love readings on my channel for each zodiac sign every month. So if this one doesn't resonate, please do check my other videos. Let me know if they resonate. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button. I'm also doing private personal readings now. So hit me up. Send me an email. I have a special promotion going on till June 15th, okay? So I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot here for the main spread and I have the everyday witch to clarify all right let's get it on Sagittarius what is going on any messages for Sagittarius Sun Moon rising and Venus okay so the current energy between you and the person that you're dealing with is the ace of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? This could be about wanting truth, wanting clarity. Also, there's a need for some kind of communication between you guys, all right? The challenge is how to build. Three of Pentacles. You guys may be wanting to collaborate. You know, maybe you guys are partners, co-parents. If not, it's just the need of wanting to come together, having the same values, belief systems, coming together and wanting to grow, Okay. You know, two heads are better than one, that kind of thing, right? So in the recent past, what happened? The magician, okay? Someone wanted to manifest you back into their life. Someone felt like they had all the tools and resources to make something happen here in this connection, okay? We're going to find out what that's about. On your mind, Sagittarius, is the king of swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Someone that you're thinking about could be an air sign. Or you're thinking about cutting this person out, okay? You're like, no BS, okay? You certainly could be thinking that this person may have um you know they may need to come to you with some kind of clarity or some kind of truth and you're going to cut them out if they don't right in the foundation okay we have the six of wands okay so being victorious achieving something okay being recognized coming into the moment we have the six of pentacles okay so this is um reciprocating I mean, reciprocity equal give and take okay so you may be dealing with someone where there's going to be equality now there's going to be some fairness if they've been breadcrumbing you in the past or leaving you feeling shortchanged here they're now going to be giving equally to you okay i feel like there's like now an, an energy of wanting to put time and energy into you um into this connection right so how do you view yourself right now, Sagittarius? We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So you could be a little angry, okay? Very angry. Um, a little hurt as well because maybe it's something that, you know, this person did. You certainly, I mean, this is a Queen of Swords and a King of Swords on the spread, okay? So you certainly could be dealing with an air sign. You guys could be very much in the energy of very cold and distant, okay? Um, not really showing your feelings and emotions to each other, like really closed off, blocked, okay? And really thinking logically and about this person and, you know, your interactions with them, okay? I think if everything is being calculated and you're not you're not trying to, again, show this person that you have feelings for them or anything, right? It's very cutthroat. So the energy your person's bringing, what do we have? The Ace of Wands in reverse. So they're not moving forward. They're, they're not budging, okay? There's a lack of action on their part with the Ace of Wands in reverse. What's going on in your feels and emotions, Sagittarius? Three of Swords in reverse. So you're healing, okay? You may be feeling very heartbroken or there's some kind of disappointment here that you're dealing with that you're trying to steal here from. You're trying to recover from, all right? It also could be a third-party energy. I don't feel this any you know I, I don't see a third person on the board but 
Certainly, you know, three of swords could be a third party or it's, again, a lot of disappointment. Something that really, really pulled at your heartstrings here. What's the outcome for Sagittarius? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so someone's going to take action, bring stability to the situation, to this connection here. Knight or about action. Pentacles is about stability, um, longevity, something reliable, something that is going to stand the test of time. It also could be someone working on being committed to you, okay, working to get to that next level or being exclusive here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is the slowest night of the deck, okay? So this person certainly could be coming in towards you, but they're moving slow as hell, okay? Because they're thinking, they're, they're really trying to present something that's going to be reliable, durable, okay? They're putting a lot of thought into it. They're not impulsive, okay? So um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant in reverse, okay? So there could be an end of a commitment here. That's causing some kind of anxiety, feeling, you feeling like you're trapped or tied, okay? And it's regarding some kind of commitment, regarding maybe you guys are um, not in some kind of union right now, or you guys are rethinking this commitment here with the hair front in reverse, or not coming together, okay, in some way. So, um, yeah, let me get the clarity on that hair font. Taurus energy and with the Eight of Swords, something that's providing, um, that's, that's, that's really have you really stuck, okay? Really feeling trapped, feeling like you're, you're blindfolded, not seeing something very clearly here. It certainly could be a person getting out of some kind of commitment or some kind of marriage that maybe you found out about that you may want some kind of truth, clarity about, some kind of communication, okay? Take it how it resonates. But the hair font is definitely an end of some kind of commitment or some kind of marriage, okay? So why is the hair font here, please, for Sagittarius? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? So that may cause someone to have not taken action regarding this connection here. They may have pulled back from you because of some kind of commitment they were in that they're no longer involved in, okay? Um, let me get some more clarity. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Again, feeling trapped. Feeling like you're not seeing something here, okay? And we have the three of wands. I mean, yeah, the two of wands, okay? So this is about planning for the future moving forward. So I do feel like you're trying to get out of this energy with the eight of swords. Um, you know, this eight of swords in reverse. So it's definitely about releasing, recovering, letting go of some kind of past situation. But then I think it's regarding this commitment or some kind of ending here, right? Um, or breakup. But I do feel like you're, you're moving forward. You're planning for the future, okay? So the Ace of Swords in the middle of the spread, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I feel like you guys want some kind of truth or clarity, okay? We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It could be regarding a water sign. Now we have two kings on the board. It certainly could be a third party energy. Um, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a water sign or an air sign. Um, but I'm feeling like there was some kind of truth or communication that needs to be spoken about a, a water sign, okay? Um ace of swords in reverse okay so there's some, some kind of lies or deception you may feel like this person was withholding communication from you regarding this water sign i feel like this water sign was getting in the way of your connection with this person and you may feel like this person um lied to you okay they were very dishonest they weren't telling you the entire truth about this person okay three of pentacles is the challenge so being able to come back together to collaborate to work together to build right but you feel like this is so burdensome. You feel like it's just too much to, to try to make this work now. You know, Ten of Wands is feeling like you're worried, um, carrying a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities, just a lot of heavy weight. Like it's going to it's gonna be too much for you to now put in some kind of work to make this grow after some kind of um, lies or dishonest communication or withholding of information, okay? Whatever's go whatever you guys are going through right now. So the Ten of Wands, yeah, Leo Sag, Aries energy. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Sagittarius? Four of Swords in reverse, okay? So someone could have been taking a break. Someone withdrew from this connection entirely, and now there's a there's an energy of feeling very anxious, okay? It certainly could be your partner after you may have found out possibly about this King of Cups or whoever this person is standing in the middle. It could be, again, someone, it doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be someone who is just, um has a lot of love um and who may have been, you know, King of Cups is, can also be a little bit emotionally manipulative. Someone who just... I feel like they're just they're just in this this uh this connection. They're just involved or they're intermingling or getting in the middle of something here, okay? So um again, take it how it resonates, but the four of swords in reverse, 
someone is anxious, okay? Someone is anxious, and I think it's about some kind of truth or clarity that was withheld here. Again, if your partner kept something from you, they're really, really, like, anxious about this information getting out to you, okay? And now that's why you're feeling burdensome about wanting to work on this relationship now or work on this building this connection here. The Empress in reverse, there's a lack of growth or wanting to nurture this now, okay? The Empress um, in reverse is definitely someone pulling away or not feeling like this is um, a fertile ground to grow anything on, right? So in a recent past, magician, so, you know, wanting to manifest something here, really feeling like you guys had all the tools, all the resources, everything you need to be able to make something work here, right? And then we have the five of pentacles, yeah? But then someone got left out in the cold. And I think it's because of some kind of um, lack of truth or, again, lies here, all right? So also, someone could be manifesting you back in their life. If you have blocked someone, whoever you're dealing with, if you block them, or stop communicating with them and left them out in the cold. They're trying to manifest you back into. Um, they're trying to manifest you back into their life somehow. Okay, I feel like they're they're feeling a little bit. Um, yeah, they don't like that. There's a lack. There's a lack of your attention here, or they miss you. There's something here. They're wanting to. Um, yeah have you come back in their life somehow and we have the four of pentacles okay yeah i feel like there's some kind of block between you guys i think that you're not letting them in okay what is the current energy right now i think you know on your mind is the king of swords like you're looking at this person as being very cold distant detached or you feel like there's still something here they need to communicate to you about why is the king of swords here nine of pentacles okay so you may be Again, you're dealing with an air sign. They may be having something that they need to offer you or something they need to bring to you. You possibly have been waiting for it for a very long time because the Knight of Pentacles is a very, very slow night. Okay, and that's coming in the outcome as well. So uh, you're waiting for this person to deliver something here to you, propose something here, bring stability to the situation. They're very much on your mind. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Oh, okay. The judgment in reverse. So you may feel like they made a bad decision regarding this connection in the past. And you don't think... I think you guys both don't think it's final. Okay? I think you guys are both trying to manifest each other back into your life. Um, yeah, I feel like there's something here... Either you or your person made a bad decision in the past, and now I think you guys want to restart something and move move toward um, some kind of stability, okay? Move move this relationship into the next level or connection. If you guys are just, you know, a distant apart, I think you guys want to get back on the right track again here. And with the Six of Wands and a foundation, this is about being victorious, about achieving something here, being recognized, getting the attention of the other person. Why is the Six of Wands here? Five of Wands, but someone is conflicted. Five of Wands can speak to internal struggles or challenges that someone may be facing. So your person could be losing faith or really feeling not confident that they can win you back here. Two of Pentacles, possibly because I think that you may have other options now. You may be juggling between um, two different people here or you may be busy and working on something else here that's causing you to put your focus on that or not them anymore, okay? I think there's something here that's really bringing you a lot of recognition. You may be feeling like you're on top of the world, you're achieving something here and yeah, I feel like your person is left out. Your person with the five of pentacles here, they're feeling left out in the cold. And they're conflicted on how to get get you back, okay? Because after whatever kind of dishonest communication that happened in the recent past, I think you may have decided to move on. Someone withdrew. Four of um, Swords of Earth. Someone definitely withdrew. And I think it's because you found it to be, to be burdensome in dealing with this person. And I think that you decided to move on. And now you may have options. You may have someone else that you're juggling between or someone is giving you attention. And your person is not liking it because we had the Five of Wands coming up. Coming into the moment is a six of pentacles. So now your person wants to step up to the plate and reciprocate. If they've been breadcrumbing you in the past, if they weren't giving you e equally to you or may have been entertaining other people, they're now just wanting to put all their time, energy, effort into you, all of their coins into you right now, okay? Yep, we have the emperor, Aries energy. Someone wants to step up to the plate and take control of this connection, Okay, I really feel like they really want to move forward. They're making a decision on how 
how to get you, how to get you back in their life with the emperor. They're very much, they're leaders, okay? They very much are um, very good at making decisions and moving things forward, okay? they. I feel like you could be dealing with an emperor who is, you guys can certainly have kids with each other. We have the emperor and the empress, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like you're, this emperor is trying to manifest you back in their life, okay? Because they feel left out or there's some kind of blocked energy between you guys. And you have the queen of swords in reverse. So you view yourself as being very cold and distant to the person, um, very angry with them, disappointed, hurt, okay? Yeah, because of some kind of lies and deception in the recent past with the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy. You feel like this person lied to you, and that's why you're so cold and distant. You're not letting them in, okay? But they're wanting to take charge. They're wanting to move things forward here, okay? Um, yeah, whatever these secrets are, or deception, or you may felt like something was kept from you, or something was being done behind your back even, okay? And I think that you're now cutting them out. Ace of Wands in reverse, your person is like, whoever you're dealing with, they're losing faith. They're, they're not confident that they can have this new passionate beginning with you. Why is this Ace of Wands here? They're really struggling on how to take action and moving forward. Even though they're, they're the emperor, right? Like, so the emperor, he's like an authoritative figure. He's very good at what he does. Um... You know, very much a leader, takes control. But at the same time, they're struggling on how to move things forward. Ace of Wands in reverse. They don't know how to move forward. Because you shut the door on them, that's why. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yep, because someone decided to leave. I think this is you. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups talks about, um, you know, leaving a situation because you're not happy anymore. You're not fulfilled. This is, you know, you're going after your happiness. So you may have decided to leave the situation, leave this person entirely because they weren't, they just weren't giving it, giving you what you wanted, right? Um, also, we have Five of Cups, okay? Regrets, remorse, shoulda, woulda, couldas, that kind of thing. Looking back on the past situation, um, so yeah, your person is definitely waddling in the past. They feel bad if they, if they were, did something here or if they even walked away with the eight of cups, they feel bad. They feel regret. They feel like they sabotage this relationship. They're really feeling disappointed in their actions here and you're healing. You're letting go the three of swords in reverse. You're letting go of whatever kind of hurt this person has caused you. You're like, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm done. I'm releasing. I'm letting it go. You know, you're really working on just closing that chapter. Yep, Ten of Cups in reverse. You're looking at this as an ending, okay? You, you just, I don't feel like you want to work on this relationship with this person anymore. At one point, they really made you happy and you were very emotional um, about them. You had a lot of deep feelings and emotions here. But now you're closing the door. You don't see having a happy life, happy family with them. Even if you do have kids and you share, you know, custody and everything, you just don't see coming together as a union, Right, but in the outcome, you have the Knight of Pentacles. They're they're going to be moving forward to you. This is them taking action here. Okay. What do we have for the Knight of Pentacles? What do we need to know about the Knight of Pentacles, please? Sagittarius, what is the Knight of Pentacles here? Wow. Two of Swords. It's gonna cause you to have to be, make a decision about this, okay? And I think you already made a decision, but it's gonna force you to revisit something here because the judgment in reverse is what's on your mind, and it's regarding this um person who was very cold, very distant here, and they're coming to you with this Knight of Pentacles right here in the outcome, and it's gonna cause you to now rethink some kind of final decision you made. If you're the one who walked away, I think you're gonna have to make this decision again about if you want to have them back in your life or not. And we have the Eight of Swords in reverse, so it's definitely going to cause a lot of conflict. You up in your head, feeling trapped, feeling unsure about yourself, not sure what to do, but you know you need to make this decision. So some of you guys are going to cut this person out and not allow this past person to come back in. Um, and some of you guys are going to move forward and accept this Knight of Pentacles, okay? Because they want to take action. They want to bring stability back to the connection again. They're thinking of, you know, if you guys are just, if you guys, again, are, are at an distant apart they do want to get back in your life they do want to start dating or, get, or reconnect again okay so um yeah i do feel like sagittarius this is, this is you going to be making a decision head of a heart decision um about this connection on how to move things forward okay so that's what i have for you sagittarius let me know if this resonates like share comment and subscribe thank you guys Bye bye